Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for, this is your bonus reading for March 2021. Uh, in this reading, we are going to do something different. So definitely let me know what you think of this type of reading. Uh, we're going to take a look at, and we're just going to do a current energy check-in uh, in your first row here. Uh, then we're going to look at what you don't see coming in your second row. Uh, we're going to take a look at how your person feels about you, and it doesn't have to be love. This could be like a boss or anybody who you're wondering how they feel about you. Uh, we're going to take a look at that there. In your last row, we're going to take a look at any urgent messages or anything uh, that you need to hear at this time. And then at the end, uh, we are going to do kind of like a pick a card. I'm actually going to pull three uh, yes or no question cards. So if you have a question, think about the questions that you have. You can ask uh, in your head up to three, and then I'm going to pull three cards, and I will give you a yes or a no uh, two, three questions. So uh, this is like an experimental reading. Let me know how you like it. Like I said, this is like uh, kind of a combination of all the questions that I get asked all the time. So uh, we are going to see what comes up. If there are any other questions you'd like to see in a reading like this, let me know. Uh, but let's see what we have for you here, Taurus. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising as well. But in your first row for your uh, current energy check-in, you have the uh, deep breath card here. So I do feel for some of you, you just need to take a deep breath at this time. For some of you, it does look like that you're waiting for some sort of settlement or it's like you're waiting for news here. You have the justice card here and you also have the to be fair card over here as well. Uh, this card is kind of like the justice card basically and I do feel for some of you, it's like you, you could be waiting for news in a legal matter um, here and especially if you're going through something that is a little bit challenging here or something that has been a battle with the five of wands. So I do feel some of you have gone, you know, have gone through something here as far as like a battle is concerned or something like that uh, legally. And, um, but uh, for the most part, I feel like you're kind of resting, relaxing, recovering. You have the Justice card, the Judgment card, and the Three of Swords showing up here. So I do feel that at this time, you're kind of like very focused on balance and bringing balance into your life. For a lot of you, I feel like currently in your current energies, you're focused more on health with the Three of Swords energy. And so I do feel like this is a good thing because you have the Justice card and the Judgment card. I like the Justice card because it's basically saying you know exactly where to put your energy as far as health is concerned. It's saying justice is cause and effect. So it just says you know where to invest your energy so that you can be more successful health-wise. Judgment card is kind of like a rebirth, so I do feel like you could be having a rebirth in your health. For others, you could be having kind of like a rebirth or a second chance in some other area of your life. Um, and... What I would say here is that this could be karmic. I do feel that there could be something about karma because of that justice card. It's almost like you're getting karmic rewards. Uh, we're going to clarify this right now, Taurus, and we're going to see uh, what we get for you here, Taurus. But uh, let's see what is going on in this first row. Six of Cups. Some of you could be hoping for someone to come back here. Page of Pentacles. Could be news or an apology coming in for you here. Two of Pentacles. You're not sure what to do. Uh, so again, if currently, if you do have someone coming back, um, which again, even in your row here about how do they feel about you, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So, <laughs> you know, someone could be trying to come back here. And I do feel like there's an apology, but it's like this person probably hurt you too much with the Two of Pentacles here. Uh, for others, I feel like this is an opportunity. Page of Pentacles is receiving an offer. I feel like there's an opportunity coming in for you that is kind of somewhere where you can make waves is what's popping into my head with the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like there could be a job career opportunity with the Page of Pentacles coming in. And this is somewhere that you can actually make a difference or this is something that is going to improve your life. You have the Ten of Pentacles here. So major improvements coming in for you. Um, so definitely current, current energies look good. I do feel like they're, like, again, you know, gift from the universe. Like I said here on the Justice card, I feel some sort of, like, karma or something like that coming in for you. And the uh, Six of Cups definitely would represent, like, a karmic gift or uh, can just represent a gift from the universe. Uh, next, for um, what you don't see coming at this time, you have the Relaxation card here. So maybe you're getting some time to rest, relax, recover with the Relaxation energy. And, yeah, Fulfillment. 
You have the Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, I feel like there's a lot of fulfillment coming in for you here. Just, you know, again, in this reading, we're not, I, I am kind of mixing the rows together here. And, but what I would say is I do feel like maybe you don't, the reason you don't see this coming is because you've been dealing with a lot of challenges recently, especially recently. I would say like since maybe the summertime, you know, last summer, obviously. And I feel you've been uh, lacking fulfillment here with the fulfillment card or things have just been a little bit challenging. So you probably just don't notice or you probably just don't see that improvements are coming in here. You have the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the King of Wands here. I feel this, like, comfort is a word that's popping into my head, so I do feel you could be creating a lot of comfort in your life at this time here, Taurus, and you probably don't see it. I feel that for some of you, again, you know, when I started, when I came up with this spread and started with this idea, I wasn't really planning on putting everything together, although that's how I read in the first place, so, um, you know, why not? But you have the Justice card, the Nine of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune here. So I feel that for a lot of you, this is saying because you didn't give up. I feel like because you have continued to put the work into something here, uh, th that's why the success is coming. I, I mean, I know that's obvious, but <laughs> you know, it is what it is, right? I feel like it's a very, I do feel like it is a very obvious message here with this energy where it's just like saying, you know, because you didn't give up, because you kept pushing, um, that's why you are receiving this fulfillment. And Ten of Pentacles can't beat that. So I feel like there's a lot of abundance and success coming in for you. I also feel this is love. Um, someone you could marry. It could be a fire sign. You keep getting the King of Wands in your readings. Obviously, it's, that's not going to be true for all of you. This is a general reading. For a lot of you, I do feel like it is fire. But for others, it could just be someone who's like entrepreneurial, it could be someone who's very focused, someone who's very bold, someone who's very assertive. And again, it could be whatever gender you're attracted to as well. I don't attach gender to my cards. So whatever gender you're attracted to. And I do feel like it's someone who can, you know, kind of puts in the work, basically. I almost feel like this person heals you in a lot of ways with the King of Wands. He's facing towards this, this uh, Three of Swords here, uh, Taurus. So it's almost like this person comes in to heal you. Um, but let's see what's going on in this row for you here, Taurus. Five of Cups. Yeah, you're just worried that you're not going to receive that Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. It's like the universe is nurturing you, I feel, at this time. Five of Wands here. You might be a little conflicted as to whether or not to accept this love into your life. So if this is a love offer coming in, maybe you've sworn off love or you're just not looking for love at this time. But I feel like it's someone very kind, caring, nurturing. Someone who is very focused as well. So it would be a good person. For others, I feel like you need to see it. I feel like you need to see that there are, are improvements or that there can be improvements. I almost feel this energy of needing to prove yourself wrong here. And I feel like what you don't see is that you could very easily do that. Uh, the reason I feel like you need to prove yourself wrong is because I feel like it'll, it'll motivate you motivate you with this King of Wands energy. So, you know, what could you do to prove yourself wrong? Um, well, there's like a million things you do, but, but but I would say I would be very focused on like anywhere where you're experiencing resistance or uh, with the Six of Cups here, anywhere where you're hoping for a turnaround in your life. Like if you're hoping to improve a specific area of your life, especially one where you have had challenges, Six of Cups is the universe getting out of your way. Six, The gift we receive from the Six of Cups is a turnaround. And, you know, it's basically just obstacles being removed from something that we have tried before. So I feel like this is saying, you know, don't be afraid to try something again with this Six of Cups energy. And, you know, that's what I would be trying to improve here. Uh, next, for how your person, the person on your mind feels about you, you have the Not For You card. I feel like for some of you, it's funny because I did Virgo's reading. In, in Virgo's reading, I said the same thing that I'm going to say to you because it's basically the same energy that I'm picking up here. It's almost like you're done. <laughs> I, I don't even think, like, you know, I, I realize that we're asking how they feel about you, but I feel like they feel that you feel that you're done. Did that, was that a tongue twister? Did that make sense, Taurus? I don't know. I feel like you realize that a person is not for you here. Yeah, you have this no place like home card, but I really feel with this first row, this is really saying that, you know, maybe for the most part this month, you're just focused on yourself with this energy. I feel like you did something here. I don't know. I get a good feeling for you here. I'm getting the word duped is popping into my head, almost like trick tricked here or someone feels tricked, but I don't, I, I feel like you just played their game. So for some of you, I feel like you kind of beat someone at their own game here. This is popping in at work as well. So for some of you in work or business, if someone's been talking behind your back or whatever, then it's almost like either you have or you will be beating this person at their own game. For others in love as well, 
it's like this person, you know, just, I, I feel like doesn't want to complete it, continue a cycle. But again, like I said, I feel like you also don't want to continue a cycle with a person as well with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you, you see this person as very inconsistent. You have the Magician. The Magician is pointing straight to the Knight of Wands here. So I feel for a lot of you, this is you kind of realizing that you don't want to, that this person is very inconsistent. You have the Five of Swords here as well. I, again, I feel like your person see, sees you as walking away. It's like you've been through all three stages on the Five of Swords. Like you felt defeated, you were sad about this, then you kind of learned to just walk away, and now you're in this place where you're just like not even giving it any the time of day. So I feel like whoever you're thinking about kind of feels like you're giving up or you're walking away from this situation. I would also say with the magician, your person could feel like you are more focused on having a new beginning. So you could just be very focused on new love or that's how they kind of see you with this energy. Um, again, in work, I keep getting this thing about tricking someone here. I don't think you really trick them. I feel like you just beat someone at their own game. Seven of Swords, lying, cheating, stealing. Again, I feel like you were dealing with someone who was very toxic. You have the magician here, I mean the um, high priestess. In the Five of Swords again. Again, I, I feel for the most part if you're thinking about a person or if you're wondering how they feel about you, um, this would be walking away from this situation or you would be taking a step away from the situation. There's really nothing more to say about that. Uh, next for any, um, by the way, this last row is any urgent messages from your guides. You have the To Be Fair card. Um, it's funny, like I said, that you have the uh, Justice card here and you have this To Be Fair card. It's almost like the universe is bringing you in a gift, like I said at the beginning of the reading. So I feel for some of you that the message that your guides or your ancestors want you to know is that there are gifts coming in for you here. You have the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Five of Wands. Again, I would say part of me feels that you are being rewarded for not giving up um, with the Five of Wands. I say that because of the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is like going on a journey. The Knight of Wands is very spontaneous, kind of like open energy, but it could also be you receiving Nine of Cups, something you wish for, because you went on a journey. Um, you know, it's like your guides maybe guided you down a path or they pushed you to do something new with your life and maybe you did it or you experienced something or you went through something and it's like now you're being rewarded. So in a lot of ways, I feel like what your guides want you to know is really you are being rewarded at this time. I feel like you need to open up to it here as well. Like I said, I feel this energy. I feel like the most important thing here in this whole entire reading is that you need to be open to proving yourself wrong. Um, you know, again, I feel like there's something you're doubting or there's something that you could be doubting that you could accomplish or have here. And I feel like you need to prove yourself wrong because, um, you know, that'll just, well, number one, it'll probably empower you. But number two, it's going to bring in more rewards, 10 of pentacles, right? So that's what I would say there. But uh, let's see here, Taurus, what we have going on in this last row. You have the Fool, definitely a new beginning coming in for you. A new beginning you've been hoping for. Three of Swords, I feel like you're healing from this heartbreak with that energy. And the King of Swords, this is what you're looking for probably. So if you're looking for new love, I feel like you're looking for someone who's mature, who is decisive, someone who makes decisions. You're not looking for this. Again, it's funny, the Magician is pointing down to the Knight of Wands here. Knight of Wands. Three of Swords, Heartbreak, right? And the, the Magician has the Seven of Swords on top, clarifying. So it's almost like this person was an inconsistent liar. I feel like this King of Swords, while with the Five of Wands, it's saying, you know, it's going to require work to find this person. I feel like there is someone coming in for you who's much more mature, stable, who knows what they want, who can make decisions, you know, pretty much all that other stuff. So uh, that's that, Taurus. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, we're going to do a yes and a, or a no cards here. So I'm going to pull three cards. Uh, you can think of up to three questions that you have, and we are going to say yes or no on all three. Definitely let me know what you think of this type of reading as well. Uh, but it's not perfect yet, but we're getting there. Uh, for question number one, I would say yes. I actually feel yes on this card. I feel like you're very clear on a question. You might already know the answer to the question you asked if you picked or if you're, you know, if you're choosing question number one here. Uh, I feel like you already know the answer and it's yes. For number two, yes, definitely star. So I feel like for you, if you pick number two or if, you, if this is question number two, 
this is definitely some sort of yes. It might take some time. So I feel like, I do feel like saying patience on question number two. For question number three, I would also say yes. Again, you have a lot of clarity I'm noticing in your reading now. So putting it for question number three, I would say yes, because again, I feel like you're very clear on something with the uh, King of Swords, but I'm getting a lot of clarity. King of Swords twice, you have the Queen of Swords. There are very few cards in here that have clouds other than the Three of Swords the five, and the Five of Swords twice and the uh, Wheel of Fortune. It's kind of like saying to me that going back to the past is just going to create confusion. I feel like pushing forward the Fool, having new beginnings at this time would be very beneficial for you, Taurus. This is a really good reading. I feel like you're heading towards a lot of good stuff, probably like some wishes as well. So thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week. Uh, also drop a like and make sure to subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, uh, Taurus, and enjoy the rest of your month.